Uh, it, it, that's great. It tastes great, but uh, <laughs> you know, but yeah. it, it's killing yourself like that. So, that's the point. <laughs> okay. That's the point. Okay, let's move. Let's that's move it. on. Let's see. Cool. Let's move on, please. <laughs> okay. So Harry. Hi, Harry. Can you hear me? Uh, you're muted. Harry, you can ask. You can unmute your microphone, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Hello, Mr. Alex and Mr. Hello. Good. So, guys. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I'm Harry. I'm from Tangerang, but I'm originally from Flores, uh, is Nusa Tenggara, and uh, I've been living in Tangerang for five years since I was a college student and. I'm a teacher. I teach in uh, one of education center in Tangerang. So uh, my job is I help uh, elementary students to study, uh, I mean, to do their homework. Uh, in Bahasa, we can say guru les. Yeah, so I teach a science, mathematics, uh, sometimes English, and uh, many more. <laughs> So uh, yeah, my job every day help children with their homework, and also uh, I'm interested in playing football and playing badminton. Yeah, I think that's all. So I'm so happy to join this class today, uh, and I hope uh, my English will will improve. Yeah, by studying with uh, you guys here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that that's the idea. <laughs> that's the whole objective. So, by the way, we're all supposed to like exchange knowledge between each other. So, besides learning from me and from Andy, you'll also learn from everyone here. Like when they talk about something, they may say a phrase you don't know and it, it will improve your English. So, okay. And like, do you use English at your workplace or? Uh, not really. Uh, I need this because some of my students, uh, they study in national plus school or international school. So most of their books are uh, written in English. So sometimes I get confused. What does it mean? What that is mean? So that's why I have to learn English. <laughs> okay. okay well, uh, plus, like, it's, it's nice to know the language. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty useful. Okay, okay, let's move on. Let's get to Alvin. Hi, Alvin. Oh, hi. Hi, right, so can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Oh yeah, my name is Alvin uh, and I am 17 years old. Uh, I am, I just graduated from high school and uh, I took, I take gap year. Uh, okay. So next year uh, I will go to the college. Okay, what college? Mm, perhaps in Malaysia or Singapore. Okay, okay. And uh, what do you plan on taking as a major? Uh, I am planning to take architecture because I like to draw and I like to design. Yeah. Okay, so d did you like, um, when I was a kid, I used to like make things with them. Um, Lego or like small. I used to like like to build stuff, like buildings. So like, did you have similar interests or? Like... Uh, I like to play Minecraft. I like to build <laughs> in Minecraft. <laughs> Me too. Okay. <laughs> good. 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 Good reasoning. Okay. Let's move on. Hi, Juliana. Yes, Mister Alexa. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Juliana. I'm from Depok, uh, and I'm 30, 36 years old. I'm a housewife, uh, but actually, I was a teacher five years ago. Uh, I take this course because I hope next year I can be a teacher again, especially uh, an English teacher, because uh, Five years ago, I just a class teacher in one of bilingual school. Uh, but after one year, I gave up to be a teacher there. 
because uh, I have a problem with uh, the report. You know, uh, at bilingual school, the report must be written in English, and I have a problem with uh, that. So I resign, and then uh, I have taken one. I have taken an English course uh, in uh, 2017, but after I graduate, I never use my English, and I realized that what I have learned, uh, the material, uh, disappeared from my brain. <laughs> so that's why uh, right now uh, I try to learn English again. I hope you can help me to be a great teacher uh, for my preparation to. Uh, apply uh, as an English teacher next year. Thank you. Okay. No, that, that's the idea. So you want to steal my techniques? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> of course, no problem. Sure. So, like, I suppose you you mostly struggle with writing or speaking. Like, what are you? What do you want to improve? That I want to ask to you. To be a teacher, what should I study first? Uh, speaking first, or grammar first, or uh, do I need IELTS? Uh, program. Okay, so so <laughs> yes, why IELTS? IELTS is like um, because when you prepare for IELTS, you're basically preparing your English level for everything. They test you for speaking, listening, writing, and they test you for everything because and reading because it's all important. You know, if you're missing one part, you'll you it will affect your whole progress. Because let's say you're really good at speaking, but you're really bad at writing. That means that, that, that that's, right. that's, that's impossible because if you're really good at speaking, that means that you should be able to know, write something down logical. Because if you're really good at speaking, you know how to keep a sentence, you know how to not put too much information in, in one place. So usually if you're bad at something, you're usually bad at something else. So like, it's nice to improve all at once. But of course, like this is a speaking lesson. So we'll mostly focus on speaking. But I will also add something like, okay, we'll do a bit of grammar, a bit of something, a bit of listening, maybe a bit of writing as well. Yeah, so in my opinion, this will mostly be speaking. But for example, one day we'll do articles and I'll say, okay, why is saying the college incorrect and why is saying a college incorrect? For example, something like that. Or maybe we'll do um, prepositions or tenses, you know. You, you'll see as we go along. But all in all, this will mostly be focused on speaking, which is a good thing okay. to do. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, Thank you okay. for <laughs> No problem. And uh, Yusni. Hi, Yusni. Hi, sir. Oh, can you My... do so? Yeah. Yes, okay. My name is Yusni Johan. I come from Banda Aceh. I work as a civil servant at Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Yahuala. Uh, actually, I work as a lecturer, but I spend at least I spend uh, a lot of my time for doing research. So I need to speak English well to make uh, a presentation, and sometimes I need to publish my research with uh, international journal. And I have uh, in this year I have two collaboration international research with several. Uh, Asian country, but I think I get a problem with my English. My English is not uh, good, and I never take English course. But I just I think at 2018 I took two weeks English with Mr. Pepsi in Paris, but nowadays I just take. Uh, English. I just speak English alone and practice alone at my home because nowadays I have a lot of time uh, during pandemic. Uh, we have no, uh, how to say, we have no uh, go to work, but I have to do everything uh, from my work. Okay, okay. So uh, are you a doctor? Because doctors usually do researches or is that... Like, um, yeah. okay, that, that, that's pretty interesting. Wow. <laughs> so, what, what you, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, what are you researching currently? Uh, I worked, uh, I, my research related with chronic disease such as hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and sometimes 
uh, how to say this lipidemia may maybe in general uh, something happen with cholesterol cholesterol okay okay so usually like health yes really, yeah okay okay that's pretty cool nice <laughs> so of course we'll we'll talk we'll speaking is really important for you i guess to get your points across i guess yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll try to, uh, to um, sneak in some academic words <laughs> because to, to improve your vocabulary. Okay, and uh, Farida and Noor were, were here previously, so I know everything about them, but I would like them to introduce themselves as well. So let's begin with Farida. So Farida, can you introduce yourself to the class? Okay, hello everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Farida Nur Cahyati, but you can call me Farida. I'm a student uh, in one of uh, not public, private uh, university in Bandung, uh, majoring English education, and my purpose to uh, enroll that major is because actually, I'm I don't want to be a teacher. I just I just want to boost my confidence because I saw that when teachers teach, uh, they have to be brave. Uh, to do, yeah, to face uh, a lot of people. And my problem until now is I'm so scared to face a lot of people. And because of that major helped me a lot. And the second one is I like English. So I choose English education because what is helped me to boost my confidence. And uh, yeah, actually, I earned my confidence in seventh semester, actually, uh, because I have to teach before I, before I do my thesis. And my confidence was uh, lift tremendously after I tried to uh, uh, teach in one of vocational high school in Chimahi. And my purpose to take this course is I want to boost my confidence in English. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Alexa, I have a question. Uh, sure. <laughs> may I? Okay. Uh, how to speak English confidently with limited vocabulary? So, yeah, I still lack a vocabulary. So, do you have a tips <laughs> for me? Uh -huh. A tip, yeah. A tip, yeah. because a tips is many things, so a tip. Um, well, I guess like it comes to the personality, because I always make this a comparison. So imagine a person who doesn't know English at all, but he's super confident, and even though he'll make a fool of himself, he will still get his point across. You know, he'll wave his arms around, he'll smile, he'll do some stupid things, but people will understand what he means. And now imagine a person who knows English really well, but he's shy, he, you know, he doesn't like to talk to people and then no one will understand him because then he doesn't say anything. So, like, English is really important. The best way is to know English perfectly, so know a lot of English, and be confident. So this comes down to the personality. So I guess this is more into psychology, but <laughs> I guess, like, for me, what works is usually speaking to, me, to a lot of people. You know, just, t just talking with people, even online. Is perfect you know because then you improve your um, communication abilities your soft skills yeah so just just participating in this class is a great start in my opinion okay thank you <laughs> okay and Noor um, can you say something <laughs> hello Mr. Alexa nice to meet you again yeah <laughs> have we seen each other before <laughs> Okay, so I'll introduce myself. My name is Nurjana. You can call me Nur. Uh, currently, I am a university student. I just graduated from my pharmacy degree, bachelor degree, but currently I am continuing my profession degree. It is called apothecary education. It, it's just a short class, actually, short, short program, just took one year take one year uh, so yeah that's what I've been doing recently and I'm from Jayapura Papua but uh, for the past four years I've been living in Yogyakarta because I study in Yogyakarta I think that's all about me I I don't really have anything to say oh uh, I one thing why I want to 
uh, uh, join this class. I think same as Farida, I want to boost my confidence because I'm not you. I I I, I rarely talk in English. I just do passive English, you know, like reading or watching something. But when it comes to speaking, uh, the lack of confidence makes me mess, messed up my grammar or yeah, just messed up, messed up my English. But if I read it or watch something or hear, hear something, I actually understand it. So I think I want to boost my confidence and then learn from Mr. Alexa and also uh, all of my classmates in here, I guess. I guess that's all. Okay, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> so I guess going back to confidence, this, this, is a, this, is a, this is the same for everyone. Basically, when it comes down to confidence, it's down to your personality. And you can only improve that by, as I said before, speaking, you know, being open. If you present yourself as an open person who wants to talk to people, you know, you'll feel, it's like, there, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a psychologist, but I know that, for example, if you smile, you, even though you're not happy, but if you're constantly smiling, it will somehow improve and it will make you feel happy in your brain. And this is proven. Uh, this might be completely blasphemy for some doctors here or someone who has a medical degree, but <laughs> as far as I know, that, that's how it is. So even presenting yourself as an open person, acting as if you're confident will, in one t will sometime, you know, improve your confidence. So just try to be as open as possible. Don't, don't hesitate to say something in this class. So try to be, you know, as open as possible. And like, we'll do a lot of questions and answers. So always try to answer the question as best as you can try to add as much information but here comes the, the the caveat here comes the second thing so when we when you want to add as much information as possible in a sentence don't don't over flavor it it's like when you're cooking something if you put too much salt or too much you ruin the whole dish same with english if you use too many words in a sentence it becomes wordy it loses its point you get lost in it so the idea here is to find the balance. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that I guess is what we're aiming for currently. And that's important for all of you to find the balance, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So usually what I do is I like have this site where I have a list of questions and someone picks a number and then we do that question. So I, I'll leave that for tomorrow. But I want, what I want to do today is we have a person who does international relations, yeah? So Septivana, yeah? Can you, can you, can you speak? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you majored in um, international relations. Yeah. That's right. So I suppose you study a lot about different countries and different regions and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, so here I have this, I have this idea in my head. So let's say I, I every one of you needs to describe a country to me. So imagine I don't know anything about the world. I'm an alien. And you all, all of you need to describe one country to me. So it will be boring if you said Indonesia, because you know everything about Indonesia. So for example, try to describe a different country to me. Say, for example, I want you to tell me something about Russia, China, America. Okay. And I don't know anything about it. So let's begin with Septivana. She knows the most, I guess. <laughs> so pick a random country and describe it to me. And imagine that I don't know anything about it. Okay, that is pretty interesting way. Um, okay, so maybe I'm going to tell you about Japan. Okay. Japan uh, is located on the is West Coast. Uh, the Tokyo is the capital city of it. There are a lot of people. Uh, Japan is really famous for their um, animation industry. If you ever heard about manga, anime, uh, cartoon, for those weebu out there, it's a good choice. Uh, and then Japan is also famous about their technology, of course, medical especially. Um, the, the economic growth is also, uh, we can say it's as um, Asia Tiger, Machan Asia, how do you spell it? Yeah something like that um the 
you know the flag of the Japan is like all white and there is like uh, this middle of it is red color yeah. uh what else what else do you want to know about japan um I don't know <laughs> tell me okay so yeah so do i this is what happened when i'm trying to like explain anything um when i try to speak uh the words is like jumble up in my head i i i really know what i'm going to try to say but it's got to jumble up in here and i like you say uh, i i did too much uh, words in the end and then it become jumble up and it's added much more that doesn't make any sense in the end <laughs> but you know you can, what you can slow end. down yeah you can that's slow right. down that's right i tend to speak really fast and i uh, i really like tend to like merge more hype with my speaking of ability so that's one problem of the thing that i need to fix i think okay. um so should i continue this Sure. <laughs> um, about Japan again. Uh, the Japan is also have a lot of islands. It really get famous with the onsen or with the hot water in it. The, um, the population there is really um, not comparable because the younger it's much lesser than the old one. The growth of the youngest one is really uh, slow because the other people tend to focus much more on their professional thing uh, instead of their family first because the cost and also the ability to reproduction is kind of low. Uh, there are also a lot of things to think about when you have a family in Japan. That's why uh, once Japan the government of Japan uh, has this one kind of program that if you are a foreign uh, people and you uh, are, or you are Japanese itself, if you have a baby or a, uh, a kid uh, on the early marriage, you get to have uh, some kind of support from the government itself. But yeah, I don't know if it's still continue or not, but it, because of the growth is really slow. That's one of the way of the government to do, uh, to find a way to grow the, Population itself. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Nice. So, everyone, this is how a diplomat explains the country. <laughs> so, try try to match her description. Try to be as descriptive as her. By the way, so let's go with some mistakes. Yeah. So, first thing, when you say <laughs> the Japan, um, the thing with articles in English is that for countries we don't use the. You just say I'm in France. I'm in Japan. I'm in Russia. I'm in blah blah blah. The only exception to this, so I'm in Japan. The only exception to this is if you were to say I'm in the, let's say, Japanese, <coughs> let's say, the Russian, the United States, or the Russian Federation. The only time we use the is when we're describing the type of country, okay? So, for example, I'm in Indonesia, or I'm in the Indonesian Republic. I'm in England, I'm in the United Kingdom. I'm in France, I'm in the French Republic. Okay, do you see a difference? Same for cities. You don't say, to you don't say the Tokyo, the Paris, the Belgrade. You say Tokyo without the. That's it. Um, maybe you can say, I'm in the Tokyo Prefecture. That means you're in the, the larger part of Tokyo. So basically, the is used when you're being more specific. Like when you're specifying like what type of city or garment it is, okay? What else? Um, Weibo. <laughs> do, do, do we all know what a Weibo is? <laughs> I guess not. But Weibo, Weibo, Weibo is a phrase. It basically means a person. Can you describe a Weibo? Yeah. Can you describe to them what a Weibo is? Me? Yeah. yeah. So everyone, Weibo is someone who really, really interesting with Japanese culture as a cartoonist, animatic, and really tend to not even popular with it, or not in, only interesting, but really obsessed with it. So you think that yourself as a Japanese person, that uh, as, especially for Indonesian, like you are Weibo, Weibo, something like that. Okay, okay. Also, when you people say, I'm very interesting. It's like, it's like describing yourself, yeah? So when you say, I am interesting, it means that you are a person 
who is nice to spend time with, okay? So you're cool. But if you say, I'm interested, it means that you want to find out. So for example, here's the difference. I can say, I'm an interesting person. That means I'm a person that is nice to talk to, that is fun, that is creative. But when I say, I'm, an in I'm interested in English lessons or I'm interested in basketball, that means that you want to do something. You have interest in that. Usually when there's an ED at the end, it's usually describing something. So let's say I'm interested, I am tired, I am relaxed. It always has the ED at the end. So just, just food for thought. Okay, let's move on. So the, do we have any volunteers? <laughs> Someone who would like to talk about a country? What kind of country do I have to describe? Any, anyone, any, any country you would like to talk about. Okay, so today I'm going to give a description about Australia. So the first thing that I would like to say about Australia is about slang word, because there are so many slang words that I just didn't know, such as mate. But I think that it's really good because it shows how friendly you are. Then the second thing about this country is about maybe the city. The city is really beautiful. There are so many provinces that I would like to mention, namely Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, and etc. But the most thing that I would like to go is Melbourne because there are so many public buildings and also tourist attractions that I would like to visit. But I just visited to Sydney and the most, the most popular public attractions is Sydney Opera House because, because it's really good. It has folk song that I would like to listen and it's really kind of really friendly. That it makes me really calm. And in this place, I can see so many pictures as well as the Boucher and also the magazine and and there are restaurants which I can do something such as consume it, a lot of foods that has many varieties of the country, including Indonesian food, Italian food and etc. Mm -hmm. And when I visit to this country, I'm keen on studying abroad in this country because because when I do a lot of research, I see that this country is top five in education. And when I see about when I see and talk with my fans, I see that they can speak with family to me and also they are politely. I think that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you. Well that that's pretty cool. <laughs> so um what about in the, what about Australia? Hmm. Australia. You said you said like a proper Australian. Yeah, <laughs> they have a, they have a different accent. It's good. <laughs> yeah, because they, like Americans say Australia, but they are Australia. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty good. <laughs> you got that down. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice country. So where in Australia do you plan to study? Like what province? I have applied many universities. So the first option as my primary to eh, my primary option is Monash University, which is located in Melbourne, but the most specific location is Clayton. And the second option is in SW or the abbreviation of the University of South New Wales. Okay, okay. But it's located in Sydney. But but I would like to learn my major more in Monash University. Okay, pretty cool, nice. One thing I just, um, I heard as a mistake is that you said like the, the it was something in plural, so let's say it was like uh, the, the, oh, the, the, the sports, yeah, let's say it was the food. Oh, what was the example? Let's say the sports, sports has, a lot of fans. And let's say this, the sports has a lot of fans. Has is only used with singular and third person. So let's say he, she, it has something. So yeah. and because sports are many things, so is the sport. Have. 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 Yeah. yeah, have. 
that 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 slipped in just that small mistake but everything else is perfect nice okay right. also you can also slow down yeah just don't don't try to like say as many things possible slow down a bit we're not yeah, rushing okay. anywhere yeah okay yeah we're not rushing anywhere so don't talk like this but still <laughs> still a normal speed yeah we're not rushing anywhere okay uh let's get to yusni yeah okay so any country wants <laughs> yes i want to tell about macau uh because i think a couple years ago i visited macau with my family i just want to visit hong kong uh, because of uh, my kids want to go to hong kong sit uh, hong kong disneyland and because of uh, macau is close to uh, hong kong and we go to macau i think macau is a beautiful place and there are so many heritage there and if we go to anywhere we can easily to take a uh, public transportation and uh, with uh, free of charge and when uh, we stay at hotel i think there are so many beautiful and nice hotel there and but i think a big problem if we bring i think children uh, no more than 16 years or because of my kids is uh, 10 and uh, 6 years old so uh, i get a bit a big problem with my kids because i i don't know how to say uh, macau is one of casino city i think oh. <laughs> so that's why uh, not easy uh, to come there for especially for kids that's that's all so so the kids will gamble that's why <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> Okay. Okay, but can you tell me something about the history of Macau? Like Macau. Uh, I don't know about uh, about I don't know a lot about Macau, but I just go there because of uh, close to Hong Kong and we just visit there because so many friends say Macau is uh, uh apa has a good uh, has a beautiful view and so many people go there. But I think because of casino, not for traveling or for yeah. holiday. Yeah. Okay. Um, Macau, Macau was a Portuguese colony. That's why it was popular because of the casinos. Okay, nice, nice. One thing I found: it's public. When you said public transportations, yeah. um, you can say public transportation, but to be honest, it's a it's it's a very archaic phrase. It's a very old old way of saying it. So it's much better to say just. Oh, we took the public transports. Oh, it's easier to say. Sounds better. Yeah, much better. And plus, it's one thing. It's public transport, not public transports. Like you're talking about one thing: the public transport in Macau. Also, so many hotel. And because so many means that there are a lot of them. Okay, so more than one. We say so many hotels uh, with the s in the end because it's something in plural. Okay, let's go to two to two Harry. Yeah, you you're muted. I can't hear you. Oh, my better. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to share about my favorite destination. So uh, it is Switzerland, but I have never been there before. So I try to describe as as good as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, yes, Switzerland is a uh, one of the okay Switzerland is uh, one of the small country in uh, located uh, in Europe continent and uh, so it is uh, one of the wealthiest country uh, around the world and uh, it is well known for its uh, high mountains lakes and also waterfalls and also uh, uh, the things that I uh, like the most uh, about Switzerland is uh, 
the people and uh, the culture and also uh, how how the government there uh, how the government there manage their uh, manage their cities and their uh, destination so uh, destination place so okay so I messed up. I forgot things. <laughs> All right. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What so, about yeah? Yeah. So uh, the country is really clean. I mean, uh, as we can see on YouTube or on television. So uh, the way government manage the rule the countries is really. Uh, well, it's neat. I mean, the people there are disciplined, and uh, uh, it's rare to see rubbish or uh, or stuff in that country. So I think that's all. Okay. Okay. What is the official language of Switzerland? Uh, I think they speak many many different languages, uh, like Germany yeah. or uh, is it Germany and Swiss language. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really know about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Switzerland, it's like mostly German. We have a French as well in the West. In the South, you have Italian. Mm -hmm. And also you have like Romanish, I think it's called like that. It's like an old, old, old language. So yeah, it was a trick question. <laughs> so you know about Switzerland. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty popular. Also, like in my country, a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people go there to work. So nice, nice. Okay, let's get to Juliana. Yeah, actually I'm confused what I want to explain. Uh, my knowledge about other country is not really good, but uh, I will try to explain about a country that related with my hobby. My hobby is watching Korean drama, so I'm going to talk about <laughs> Korea. <laughs> uh, because... Uh, Two of my favorite actors are from there, Lee Min Ho and Hyun Bin. <laughs> and I think uh, Korea is uh, a beautiful country, uh, especially uh, when I watch the movie, the, the drama, uh, the movie was made uh, in Jeju Island. Uh, that place is really beautiful and one of my favorite title of movie that I have watched is Legend of the Blue Sea. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, the last episode was taken there in Jeju Island. I hope I can... i never been to Korea. Uh, that's one of uh, the country that I really want to visit. Uh, I have one day. And uh, I think Korea is one of the, the safest uh, country because uh, on drama I can see that uh, we can find CCTV everywhere every uh, what do we call it gang <laughs> the small uh, path or on the road uh, they can find CCTV easily and then uh, I think the people uh, is polite because when they speak with the elderly and when they speak with uh, people in the same age, uh, they speak with different uh, level. I don't know how to say it, but maybe in Indonesia, uh, for example, Japanese uh, language is uh, there are uh, uh, bahasa Jawa halus and bahasa Jawa biasa, something like that. I don't know. But in Korea, there are level of language when they speak to the elderly and uh, with the same uh, age. And also, I really found uh, when I see they eat uh, their food, like tteokbokki, gimbap, something like kimbap, something like that. When I really want to eat uh, Korean uh, food, I started to make kimbap because the uh, form is almost the same like sushi. Okay. That's all that I know about Korea. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, also, also, it's formal language and informal language. So informal language would be how we talk, you know, in a cafe with friends. Formal language would be how you talk to, like, um, your parents or, you know, older people, as you said. So, yeah. Uh, is there something in Indonesian like that? Like, there's a formal and informal form? Or, yeah? Does it exist? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so, so why is Korean different? Do they have like different levels or? No, uh, I mean, uh, each level is polite uh, language, but differently. I oh, know okay. <laughs> okay. Also, so here, one thing I noticed is the people. So the people is many. So when you say the people of Korea, that means that there are millions of them, a lot of Koreans. So that are are so they are they are not they is they are okay and oh, uh, i suppose you're talking about south korea yeah <laughs> not north korea <laughs> yeah it's not so <laughs> friendly <laughs> yeah specifically <laughs> okay yeah, yeah people usually mean south korea and i always I always laugh i say oh i really like korea and i'm like mm, which one <laughs> so okay let's get to farida When I was in elementary school, uh, I found uh, one interesting country in the textbook named Suriname in South America and Paramaribo uh, as a capital city. And the inter uh, interesting thing is a lot of Indonesian immigrants there in colony era. Uh, Netherlands colony era and I heard that until now uh, the Japanese Japanese people there are so many Japanese people there still use Japanese language and if I have a change I want to visit that country someday to know more it's it's it, it will be interesting to see the culture there, see the Japanese people there, and yeah, that's all for me. <laughs> okay, okay. So Japanese, like Java Japanese. Island or Japanese? Java. Uh, Java Island, Japanese. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Know that. Uh, Noor. <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, I prepared to tell you about South Korea too. <laughs> actually, it's a different aspect. I don't know. Is it okay? <laughs> I don't really have sure, my sure. country in mind. So, uh, same with Mrs. Yuliana. I, I watch not really a lot, but a few Korean dramas. And therefore, I read about it a, a lot. Yeah, kind of a lot. So... What I learned from Korea is they have this culture that, that called pali pali culture, or in English you can say quickly culture. Uh, it's not a literal translation, but maybe you can say it quickly culture. So people in Korea, South Korea tends to do something effectively. So they always find a way to do something effectively and quicker. They don't like to waste time. They don't like to do small chit chat or something that will waste their time. So, uh, do uh, because of that, South Korea is a very busy city. Like it's twenty four seven. There's uh, like no no rest time. Uh, and then, what else from South Korea? Uh, South Korea is uh, maybe I can say a homogen country because if you go to South Korea, you will see that wow they. Uh, almost all of them look the same. <laughs> uh, so I think when y you will, uh, uh, when you visit South Korea, they will look you, I don't know, maybe differently because you look different. And in some cases, maybe there's uh, an, apa ya, uh, some, apa ya, there's something ha uh, due to that differences. We, uh, how to say that? Uh, there's something we don't want to happen that happened. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I, I messed up a little bit. Think about uh, it, think about what it. What else uh, about South Korea? Oh, yeah, South Korea is well known for their um, Hallyu or Korean wave. 
there so what i learned from south korea is they really determined to improve their uh their influence with pop culture influence so they really work hard for it i learned about their history like how they built the image like pop culture image and those entertainment industries and then well i can say that they really work hard on it and look at them now i think everyone in here or almost everyone in the world uh, ever heard of about boy groups or korean dramas so i think that that's one thing that i can learn from south korea they they really determine to uh, prove what uh, uh to prove what they have of or to uh what the hopes they have, or to um, yeah maybe that's all yeah i'm sorry i it's think okay, that's what perfect. i can say it's perfect it's perfect nice one thing i need to say so and right at the end. So quickly, quickly is an adverb. What does adverb mean? It means that we're adding something to a verb. It's like something that you use to describe a verb. So let's say I, I can say I swim, or I can say I swim quickly. It means that I'm describing the way I swim. So it's like it's like an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. So like I'm a pretty person. She is a beautiful girl. Or an adverb is describes a verb. So I swim, I swim quickly. I speak rudely. I speak nicely. Usually it has the L E to the end, so it's quickly, nicely. So that's how we recognize it. So when you say uh, quickly, quickly wave, doesn't make sense because wave is a noun. So you can say quick or uh, quick culture, quick stuff. Okay. Maybe you can say quickly, like um, quickly, qu um, quick movement. Oh, I can quickly talk or talk quickly or, you know, it's like, this is the confusion here. So like when you want to describe a noun, you use the adjective. So quick. Quickly is used when you're describing a verb. So I, I'm talking quickly or I'm talking slowly, et cetera, et cetera. I won't bore you with this, but I'll, I'll go into more detail later on. Okay, so this was pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, we have five more minutes, so I guess I can use the time to describe our country. I'll, I'll describe a country if you want. So... Um, no one talks about um, what country can I say? Well, let's um, Germany, yeah. So Germany is a pretty interesting country. It's one of the most powerful countries in Europe. It has a very rich history. Um, they, they, I guess they've tried to. Uh, many world wars have started in Germany. And there's um, an extensive, an extensive German culture that's you know lasting from the Middle Ages up until now. They have um, a lot of influence in Europe, and they're very important, a uh, very important economic country. Also, they're very and a very important cultural country because there's, for example, something like, let's say, the beer fest. Uh, it's got like Oktoberfest where they drink a lot of beers, and yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> Maybe I won't go into too much detail. And one more thing, I guess we should ask Alvin as well <laughs> what country he would like to talk about. Uh, I think I'm going to talk about Germany. Uh, yeah, finish, finish my... Finish my. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the people of Germany uh, called their country as Bundesrepublik of Bundesre Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Uh, the insters interesting facts about Germany is about the World War that Which one? They, <laughs> Second World War. Okay. Yeah. They lost the war and they were split up into a divided country as such as East Germany and West Germany and the East Germany occupied by Uni Soviet and the West Germany occupied, occupied by three country, countries, uh, it's United States, uh, French, and England. Uh, but uh, the things that I like about the Germany is even when even they were lost the war, they could reboot their country, their economic 
and now they are become uh, most influential country in the world as G20 and uh, the biggest economy in U European Union. Yes. And, <laughs> uh, the currency that used in Germany was marked, but now they use Euro as their currency. Uh, 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 the culture in Germany the people of Germany are so punctual and so work hard. They are working for and uh, working hard every day. Uh, and the education in Germany is not so expensive, especially uh, in college because the college in Germany are subs subsidized by the government of Germany even for foreign people. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> nice description. <laughs> it's, it's in my neighborhood so nice. You know a lot about Germany. Pretty cool. Okay. So, oh, by the way, your surname, Rhein Reinaldi, is that somehow linked to the river Rhine, or is it the coincidence? You know that there's a river in Germany called Rhine. Oh, uh, in Hamburg city, Rhine. Yeah, yeah. Is it is it linked to your surname or? Oh no, I oh, don't okay. know. <laughs> I'm curious. Like, oh, you talk about Germany, Rhinealdi? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Well, I guess that's about it for this class. We're at the end. So, um, does anyone have any questions? Any suggestions? No? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the class. This, this is usually how it will, they will go. This type of, you know, question, answer, I correct the mistakes. Sometimes I'll ask you, I won't give you any homework today, but expect next class I'll give you a homework, a writing task, so that we can go over it and maybe learn something new, some grammar. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> so, the same time as today for tomorrow. And yeah, I guess that's all. So if you don't have any comments, I guess we can end it here. Maybe if my friend Andy has something to say. Yeah. Yeah. So for the next class, it's gonna be it's gonna be the same time at seven p.m. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a good night. Bye. Yeah. Ciao. Thank you so much.